Hello, I'm Citrus, and you're looking at the high-grade Universal Sentry MS-06F2 Zaku 2 F2 from Gundam 0083 Stardust Memories. This particular kit has been released in the high-grade Universal Sentry line before, twice, in the Xeon Green Colors and the Federation Beige, uh, but I can promise you that this particular one isn't painted, because as you can see it's obviously purple. This one actually is the core kit from the Super Z Custom Zaku F2000 from the Gundam Bill Fighters and there was Gunplot Builders Beginning G. Uh, before I actually went ahead and built the whole big Zaku here, I was pretty surprised to find that the kit includes all of the pieces to build the original Zaku F2. So I thought that uh, for the sake of doing another review, I would review the basic F2 first before I went on to show off the big guy. As you'd expect, this kit comes with all of the original F2 accessories, such as the 90mm machine gun right here. The clip is not detachable, unfortunately, unlike some of the older iterations of this gun in other model kits, but the detail is pretty good. You have the 120mm Zaku machine gun with the redesign that you see in Star Memories. The clip does come off, and you do get an extra one of these, which can also attach onto the Zaku's back skirt. Let's see if it's on like so. The scope moves, and so does this handle here. Have the heat hawk with this little clip that can come off. Uh, this clip goes into the side skirt so they can hang it off of the mobile suit. Have the pair of nondescript grenades, I believe, or they could be flares, I'm not too sure. They go also on the side skirt. And you have the pair of leg missiles. As for option parts, you have one open hand for the left side to hold the guns. And you also have a right trigger finger hand with the slot to properly lock in the weapons. And you also have two option parts for the head. So you have a completely smooth head, as opposed to the fin that's currently on the Zaku right now. And you have this one which has the extra armor plates on it. Looking at the finished model kit itself, you see some pretty typical HGUC features. Not too many uh, panel lines all over the kit, but you do have some nice details here and there, and the lines are very clean and good proportions. And in usual Katoki fashion, the thighs are a bit short compared to the rest of the leg. As for articulation, you have the head on a small double jointed neck. Uh, it doesn't move too much, but you can turn. And the eye in there does rotate. If I can reach in there and make it turn, you can see that like so. <clears throat> the arms have a simple ball joint that comes out like so. And shoulder moves up for the arm to rotate upwards. Same on the other side, if you move the shield out of the way. Arms rotate beneath the elbow, or beneath the shoulder. 90 degree bend at the elbow, ball joint the wrist. Uh, I have a little bit of motion in the waist here, but not too much. The skirt, front skirt moves together as one piece. Side screw moves out just a little bit, which means you don't get too much room for the leg to move around. And you have a 90 degree bend in the knee, which is a little disappointing given how it looks like there could be totally a lot more room for the leg to move more, but that's just how it goes. And pretty decent ankles actually. It's a nice touch that this piece is completely separate, so it moves around much more naturally than one might expect. 
At 1600 yen, there are plenty of other high grade kits that do offer more value for your money. But that doesn't change the fact that at the end of the day, this is a really good representation of the F2 Zaku. The accessories included, although not flashy, do add a lot of realistic touches to the finished model kit. And that seems fair, since given the less than spectacular articulation of the kit, you're not going to be doing too many big flashy poses anyway. In general though, if you're just looking for a Zaku for your collection and you're not particular about what model it is, perhaps you can do better with a high mobility Zaku instead, such as the Black TriStar Johnny Ridden or Shin Masunaga colors. Those kits are also 1600 yen, but they do offer a bigger variety of accessories and possibly better articulation in general. At the end of the day, this kit is probably best only for display since it only has a few poses that it looks really good in. If you want more than just screen accuracy and subtle niceties out of your model kit, then perhaps you can skip on this one. So that's all for this review. Check back in a while when I'll have the Super Custom Zaku F2000 completed. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.